Hi, Taurus. Okay, the World card. Page of Cups. Two of Swords. The Emperor. The Hermit. Okay, and the Five of Pentacles. So starting off with the World card. This is a beautiful card. This could signify that there's an upcoming trip. There's foreign, international uh, travel that's ahead to a different city, state or country. Um, so this could definitely be that travel is on the cards. The world is opening up here for you and this is the theme that has been riding with you for quite some time now, Taurus, given the planetary shifts um, that have been happening around you. This is indicative of the theme that has been following suit for quite some time. So there's a new world that's opening up here. There's opportunities for travel, opportunities to learn overseas, opportunities to meet someone on travels. If this is romantic, you might have met someone on travels or will meet someone overseas. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest. It could be someone that... Um, uh, you know, you meet in passing, you meet for a drink, someone's, you know, holding their drink up here. Could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, could also be an Aries, you know, we do have Virgo here, um, perhaps, you know, an air sign as well here, but someone that's holding up their cup to you, whether they're uh, proposing something romantically, offering their cup to you, or just, you know, in celebration with you for some reason. So um, someone you could meet out, someone that could become a dear friend, or perhaps even someone romantic that um, might be here around you with the world card. I feel like if this is at work, then there's a lot of things that are expanding around you for the company or the corporation you work for, or if it's a creative pursuit, the world card could indicate the World Wide Web. It could also indicate expansion, growth, online ventures, online divisions and departments that may be opening up as a result of the workplace or, your, or the company expanding. This could also be that you will be considering opening up a business perhaps and might be, it could be something online as well that could be, you know, maybe it's something that you're considering. There could also be someone that you're um, communicating with that's from a different background to you, someone that's foreign, perhaps bilingual, someone that's from a different city, state or country to you. So you may be in communications with this person as well. There could be some sort of long distance link here for some of you. There could be a long distance relationship that might develop for some of you Taurians. Now moving on, we have the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups is, speaks about an offer perhaps being made to you. It could be someone holding up their cup to you, making you an offer of some kind, whether it's romantic, professional. There's definitely someone that's toasting to you. So someone that could be toasting to your success, someone that you might meet out drinking, uh, someone that's um, wanting to collaborate with you in some way. Um, if it's at work, it's definitely someone that might want to collaborate uh, with you here. Could be a wholesaler, could be um, someone in the sales division. It could be someone that you might want to collaborate with creatively. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, as I mentioned, and they're really wanting, they're really showing interest um, into what it is that you're doing. This could also be someone that you might meet on travels and perhaps collaborate in some way, whether it's you know in, in, in a friendship way or in a romantic way here with the Page of Cups. It could be romantic though, and this person, it would make sense if this person comes from a different background to you, they could live in a different country, they could have a different religion, different culture, different tradition, um, in some sort of aspect, and um, I feel like you might be really interested in this person. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, as I said. I feel as though there's a contrast here. I feel as though you've got choices around your romantically here, Taurus, because I feel, you know, you might be at a crossroads here with the Two of Swords. There could be, and there's different signs that are coming into play here that are perhaps vying for your attention. So you may be caught up in a third party situation, or you may be caught up with numerous options and you being unsure about which one to take is what I'm seeing. But there's definitely someone that looks really promising, someone that's got their eye on you. And it's probably someone you either met overseas, you talk to online, or someone that has a foreign background. So if, you know, this person is circulating around you romantically, then this could be the person with those sort of characteristics. And if it's not in um, a love uh it's if it's not in the love aspect then professionally I feel like someone's coming from over the seas a new company a new corporation you may have recently signed on with them or signed um, work with them uh, or you know affiliations or associations of some kind and as a result you've been having this communication but they're going to make you a new offer whether it's renegotiation of money of salary of work of 
people, uh, you know, of division, there's something that they're going to present to you that I think you're going to be maybe conflicted about or not really sure which avenue to take because the Two of Swords says to me that there's options, you could be blinding yourself, you could be leading yourself in, you know, um, it's almost like you're going into something blind and if this is the case I would advise you do your research. Uh, the Two of Swords is about stopping something not not letting something happen and if this is creatively i feel like you could be um, you could be the barrier that's preventing you from moving forward getting that client moving to that division accelerating getting promoted you know things like that changing workplaces i feel like you're at a crossroads and if this is the case then i feel you definitely need to break free of the chains here taurus because there's a there's a world of opportunity around you here and i just don't think you're seeing it yet or it's either there's too much opportunity and this would make sense if this is an, um, in the romantic aspect. I feel as though there could be a lot of people here vying for your attention, vying for your love. And it's either that you've been hurt in the past and you're just not having a bar of it. You just don't want those sort of relationships. You don't want what they're offering. I feel as though for some of you, you're just going to stay single and stay um, almost like a hermit. Um, and you're going to close yourself off from opportunities of love perhaps intentionally or unintentionally, consciously or subconsciously, on some sort of level, you're definitely holding yourself back here and barring yourself, or it's just that you have too many options here. It could also be an air sign that's coming into play, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. This sign has been coming up for you for quite some time, and maybe they're the one that's making you cause, make, making you rethink things. So maybe you're currently coupled up, or you're interested in someone else, or just interested in your creative pursuits and then this person comes along and sort of changes things for you and then maybe you get a bit defensive because they're wanting to make you this offer but you don't feel you're ready so this this is a possibility Taurus this could definitely happen here for you you could be torn as well torn between companies torn between people because you do as I said you do have different signs here and it's either people trying to make you offers and you're just being uncertain. I feel for some of you, you're, you know, there's a whole new world that's going to be created here for you and you're just going to embrace it and power through it and, you know, ride the wave and enjoy it and try and take advantage of this, of these new changes, of these new things that are happening around you. And for others, I feel like you're just going to close yourself off here with the Hermit and the Two of Swords. Um, and this is no way to be. You know, you've got, you have to embrace these changes. I know you like stability and I know you like routine and I know you like what's familiar, but sometimes you just have to take that leap of faith. That's what's required from you this month, I feel. You do also have the emperor around. This could be a male, this could be a female that's around you, under an, you know, it could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Uh, this could also be a very domineering figure around you and maybe this is someone, if this is romantic, this is someone that's been coming into your, but that's perhaps been dominating you in a relationship, has been dominating, you know, the pace of the relationship and maybe this is why you're conflicted because you're just not sure you want to go ahead with this person, you're not sure if you're at the same stage as this person and that's okay Taurus, I know you like to take your time, you're quite methodical and sometimes fire signs if you are dealing with one can be, uh, you know, very adventurous and it can be a turbulent ride sometimes and it's it's not as practical as you'd like it to be and it's not as slow paced as maybe you like it to be. It can be very up and down, almost like a whirlwind and it's hard to keep up. And if this is the person you've been dealing with, I feel like they're really, it's either they're being very forceful in, you know, maintaining and initiating a relation or initiating and maintaining a relationship with you, I should say, and this is not something you're completely comfortable with. Um, you know, to go by this pace. And some of you, this might even result in you, if you're coupled up, you might be leaving a relationship or just taking time out away from this person, as we can see with the hermit he the, the hermit card here. This could also be an elderly figure, someone that's very wise and learned in a high position that's giving you advice, that's going to be, you know, maybe leading this online team. Maybe this is a, a financial consultant. Maybe this is a, a, a superior. Maybe this is a boss that's around you if it's in your creative pursuit, giving you advice. Maybe this is a business development manager, as I said, an accountant, a, you know, financial consultant that you're going to be um, seeking advice from. For others, it could even be a father, a brother. It could even be a male figure around you that's just 
being very protective, very possessive, wanting to lead, mentor, coach you and wanting to really take you under their wing. And for some it will be misconstrued as they're wanting, you know, they're wanting dominance. They're wanting to dominate your life choices. This could also be the person that's making me this offer. It could be a, um, you know, it could be a, a president of a company, a chairman of a company that will be speaking or wanting to speak with you directly and wanting to um, move on, collaborate and work with you in some aspect. You also have the Hermit here card though, so romantically I feel like some of you are just going to stay single. I feel some of you might be either blinded by opportunity or you've just been hurt in the past, you don't want to move on. Could be a Virgo, could be an air sign, you've got Aries here, there's lots of different, there's a lot of elements here. So you might be dealing with different elements, a lot of different people or people with a lot of different elements in their chart. And I feel as though a fire sign could be very dominant around you and I'm just not so sure you want to take them up on their offer and you just you're either blinded to letting this person back in or you don't want to feel blinded you don't want to feel at a crossroads anymore and hence you're not um, you're not taking them up on their offer this is this is autonomy though this is either singled and being single or taking time away. Some of you could be traveling for work and spending time away from your spouse, your loved one, your partner. For others, it could be that you start a creative pursuit autonomously. It's completely on your own. You start your own company, your own brand, your own label, your own um, business, your own property that you lease out. Whatever it is, this is doing something autonomously with the Hermit card. It could also be teaming up with a Virgo, but I feel as though it's more you just needing guidance or you doing something completely on your own, completely taking that initiative. And that's nice to see, as I said, it's going to go one way or the other. Some of you will really embrace it, um, embrace the change, really grab the ball by the horns. But for others of you, I feel like you're still lacking. You're still, you know, unsure about all these new changes and unsure about who's real around you, who's not, who's good for you, who's not. And that's okay. Sometimes we need to take our time and maybe this is a message for you here with the Hermit card telling you that it's okay to take your time and it's okay to look within and it's okay to take time out from everything and rethink your choices, rethink what it is that you want to do, where it is that you want to go. So maybe it's hard for you to keep up with them. It's not always easy and you are a very stable, start, stable sign. You don't like too much change. You like familiarity. You like the norm, you know, you don't like things that are brand new and um, are hard to come by. I mean, depends what you have in your chart, but for most of you. But as I said, it could be working autonomously, working on a project, being given a project. Um, this could also be that you're seeking higher learning. This could also be that you're seeking counsel. The emperor is someone in a higher position or someone that has high qualification high prestigious qualifications. Maybe you're seeking guidance, you know, in your way of thoughts, in your mental state. Maybe you're seeking um, a psychologist out. Maybe you're seeking a marriage counsellor out. Maybe you're consulting a business consultant. You know, consulting someone of, you know, this, this prestigious, um, lucrative background. You do have the Five of Pentacles as well. Five of Pentacles is um, seeking help. It could be financial help if you are starting your own company or even if you're not, it could be financial help because you might be wanting to take a trip later on. Maybe it's this month and you need to ask for more money from a, a, a financial institution or a creditor. The Five of Pentacles is also maybe um, a partaking in charity work. Um, you know, we do have a lot, we have a, a lot of elderly people in these cards and a lot of ill people. So maybe you're seeing someone that's ill or crook looking after them. Maybe you go into this line of work. Some of you might be traveling out and working in hospitals, um, you know, working with charities over, overseas. Five of Pentacles is also someone being left out in the cold. You know, and we do have the hermit here, what looks like he's standing on snow. And when you look behind the emperor here, he's got this barren, this barren land behind him that's not lush it's it's just that it's barren there's not much around so you you might be um, barren in certain situations in your life you might be barren financially you know and you're not making much money 
and you have to ask for money to go on that holiday or to collaborate with this person or you know for others it could be a friend that might ask you for money or you ask them for money it doesn't necessarily have to be money the pentacles rule anything that's happening around you in your physical um, in the physical world it could be help with finances with assets with companies could be that you might meet someone at a charity event, you might meet someone at a benefit of some kind, whether this is someone that you're going to collaborate with creatively or perhaps even romantically. It could be that some of you feel overwhelmed, you might be traveling a lot, doing a lot, working for your company, doing this creative pursuit or working hard at a relationship and you just become ill, you become a little bit crook, a little bit run down. That's also possible heat for you, Taurus. It could even be the characteristic of this person you might meet that's foreign or speaks a different language. Perhaps they're in a high profile position and they work for a company um, that helps the sick, helps the poor, could be for a hospital, for a medical research center. Um, you know, helps, helps, helps people that have lost their way. Maybe they work in rehabilitation as well, or maybe you'll start working in rehabilitation. That's also possible here for your Taurus. But this, I feel like this theme has been following you around for quite some time. I feel like you need to roll with the punches and take that leap of faith. Um, there's definitely a lot happening here for you and you need to embrace it because only when we open up ourselves and we embrace things, only then can we invite more and more good things into our lives. So I hope you do do that. I wish you all the best of luck.